Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair, it's Kobe here. In today's video, we are going to talk about vertex maps in Cinema 4D and we are going to talk about how we will use fields to actually grow it or animate it so that it grows on and also how to bake it so that you can actually use the uh, scroll through the timeline for it to play in real time and even how we can actually freeze it at some point whilst it's growing and all of that with keyframes so let's get into cinema 4d and see how we do this now this is actually necessary because i think i use this technique most of the time in my tutorials and i feel all the time like there's a need for me to explain because you don't know who's watching um how the whole process is done so i think this video will be helpful so that like anytime i do something of that sort i can actually redirect somebody to watch it if you want to get the entire explanation or understanding of how the whole thing works so that i don't keep repeating it most of the time in every video right so if you know about the vertex map and the fields i might you might not necessarily um, need this but maybe there are one or few things you can learn in this process this is going to be i hope this one will be a short one so let's get into cinema 4d so i'm in cinema 4d and i'm using cinema 4d 2023.1 so in cinema 4d 2023.1 i think you can simply right click on any generator object right you don't have to make your object editable you can simply right click on any generator object come to other tags and apply a vertex map to your object and you can see it starts working and by the way you will need quite a few segments in your object so that the vertex map will, if you want to grow it or paint it will look uh, will look good so what i've done is just a cork wheel which i've actually extruded it and i've placed it in the ray measure to get well subdivided uh, divided polygons so now you can simply see it's giving us this red shape that's a vertex map basically right but if you are using an older version you can do this you can do it on a um, generator object so you need editable object so to make any object editable you simply select the object and you press c it will be editable or you can cl uh, click on this object here make editable and you make it editable so you can see now it's turned to a polygon um, a polygon um, model now so our vertex map is working but let me actually delete it so if you are using an older version which, does, which doesn't give you the option to add the other tags here right you can't find the vertex map what you can simply do is that come to any of this mode like let's say the point mode right and select some points oh i mean i mistakenly so let's select and move to to select let's any of the points and come to select this select um tab here and let's see set vertex width choose set vertex width you can set it to any either zero or one and you can see we have the point that we selected is set to uh, 100 but we don't necessarily um care because we are going to use fields to grow it but you can see now it has given us the vertex map so if you are using an older version of cinema 40 that's how you actually do to apply the vertex map now to grow a vertex um make it grow you can simply select the vertex map and since i think cinema 40 r20 you can actually use fields to affect your vertex map so that's what you are going to do so i'll select the vertex map come to use fields down here check use fields and you can see we have this freeze layer in here we can choose to let it in or we can delete it but in this case let me delete it so that i do everything from scratch so we have our vertex map and what we want to do is that we want to make like it grow so when it's red it's basically zero and when it's yellow it's basically one so we want to make it start somewhere wherever you want and grow to fill the whole um object so i can use either of these fields so i can come in here and i'll choose a spherical field right so you can see wherever the spherical field touches it turns yellow so let's say we want it to start growing from this side and now grow eventually to fill the whole thing so i can move my spherical field here right and that's basically it but for it to grow on its own we have to bring in the freeze layer again so to do that i'll come into my modify layers here and i'll choose a freeze layer i'll make what i'll do is i'll bring the freeze layer usually i want it down so that my um fields will be on top of the freeze layer so the freeze layer now because i when i brought the freeze layer in the spherical field had this selected if i even disable the spherical field you can see still the freeze layer remembers um how it, it was when it came in right but we we can do simply clear uh, click on this one clear and now it will clear everything so it's forgotten 
how the whole thing was looking like right let's go back to the model mode so that we don't see the point so now with the freeze layer if we, there's something we can simply click on clear so that it clears everything and everything starts afresh so now let's bring back a spherical field and now this working for, so for the um, spherical field to recognize the freeze layer which is below it we need to actually change the blending mode from normal to either of this one max add or screen let's set it to max in this case and now let's select our freeze layer and come down to the you can see we have the layer tab here selected right and now the mode is set to none we can simply change it from none to grow and now if we hit play you can see it's growing to fill our object so this basically it's it's nothing complicated right you can see it's growing to fill our object now it's looking at a radius of 10 centimeters so you can see the radius is set to 10 it's looking at a radius of 10 centimeters and find the next polygon that it finds then it extends to it basically it's sort of infected and the speed is also um, determined by the strength so if i reduce the strength to effect strength to like 30 it will basically slow down the speed and it will take some time to grow so that's basically it so if you have a very small object a very very tiny object and a lot of polygons you probably might have to check your radius if you have a huge object with big polygons you have to check your radius right so that's basically all about the vertex map now once you are done with your vertex map um usually you can't for instance you, can, you see i can't scrub through when especially when i use the freeze you can't actually scrub through like that so to actually be able to do that one way i usually do when i'm actually cool with my vertex map and i like the animation and everything because you can't go back after um unless you you probably save it or something so you basically have to bake your vertex map so that you can scrub through the timeline and to do that it's as simple as just right clicking on your object and you have to actually bake the whole object and you bake it as allen back right and now i'll choose okay and now it take a second to bake it and now the baking is done so you can see it's created another copy of our original um um ob object for us so this is the first one you can hide it and this is the alembic one right and now you can see with the alembic the vertex map has been baked as well so now if i select it and move you can see we can scrub, scrub through the time so that's basically how if i want to bake my vertex map i bake my object as alembic so that it stores the vertex animation in it and while even though you can see it's big it and everything but it still can be used in other ways so for instance even though this is alembic i can right click again and come in here and i'll add another vertex map on top of it All right and now this one is completely a new vertex a completely new vertex map let's actually select it and rename it like vertex map 2 and now let's this vertex map come to the fields tab and you can drag in the first vertex map that we created with the alembic which is this one and now we can select um use all of these like say average to get it smoother um let's see do average to smoothen our vertex animation or we can let me set it back to nearest and we can set it we can add like a curve to it so i can come in here and i'll add um, a curve to on top of the vertex map right and with that i can hold control click here to create another point and i'll move this one down and i'll move this point up right and you can see now we've created some edge of our um vertex map and you can use this to drive a lot of things so you can see this is the original one from the alembic and this is the tip of it and you can use this and because it's been it's based on this alembic vertex map it's actually um scrubbable so i can scrub through the timeline and we can use it to do a lot of things interactively so this basically the tip of it but what if let's go back to the original one um what if i have this alembic uh, this vertex map animated right you can see and let's see when it gets to let's actually increase the strength to like say 70 and it gets to maybe after it's gotten to pass this the center like this i want it to stop here right 
how do I do that? And it's as simple as just and the key framing the effect strength. So let's say at frame 60, I'll set a key frame and at frame maybe 65, um, 64, I'll bring the effect strength just straight back to zero. And now it should stop and not go again. So basically you can see our vertex map is growing when it pass the middle. Now it gets to this point and now it freezes, it stops. So that's as simple as as that it's nothing complicated and after this is done you can actually use it to drive several parameters you can use it to drive deformers you can use it to drive materials you can use it to drive a lot of almost every parameter you can find a way to use the vertex map to drive something so that's this something i usually do or comes up in most of uh, tutorials i do so i feel like this one should be a special so that like if somebody doesn't understand how like is things work like how to grow vertex map like this using filters and stuff like that and um, you can watch this particular video or this video can be recommended so that you can actually understand how to do something like this there's so much in fact there's a lot that we can actually talk about when it comes to vertex map and that will probably take us hours to explain almost everything but this this is the basic of growing vertex map using fields and i hope this video will be useful this same technique as well can be used in other ways so not just even with the vertex map it can be used with um like let's say normal even um effectors right so far as the fields i mean you can use fields to grow everything right and even if you right click you can even do it with something like the polygons right so you can see the vertex map you have polygon selections you can actually do the same thing with it so i hope um this video has been useful and this like i actually wanted this to be shorter but then it's longer than i expected but still i hope this was educate um informative and you learned something from it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video